Hi, I'm Hazel, and today I'm going to be adding a second PC to my streaming YouTubing setup. Up until this point in my channel history, I have been doing all of my streaming, gaming, and coding off of one computer. Uh, the current model is the computer that I built at the end of 2018 in a video, and it's still good. It's not going anywhere. That was a journey. <laughs> to put together, but it was, you know, the thing still works. So I want to keep that, but I have a shiny new, also awesome computer from channel sponsor NZXT. So the idea is going to be to set this up and make it make friends with my current stuff so that I can run games on this computer to its heart's delight and then use the other one to encode, record, stream, and then also stuff like Discord and whatever. So here's the plan. I've never done a double PC streaming setup before, and I feel like I'm about 85% smart enough to make it work. I drew a diagram. So this is my plan as it stands before I've tried anything. And it may change if I find out that for whatever reason I've done something dumb here. But the plan, uh, currently I have two monitors, keyboard, mouse, etc, etc. And I want to share my keyboard and mouse and then one monitor between the two computers using a KVM switch. Because my desk is not that big and I'm going to stick this thing on it because I think it's going to look really cool. So I don't want to add any more stuff to the desk than absolutely necessary, lest my poor Ikea table break. And also the idea of having multiple keyboards on my desk does not currently appeal to me. So I am going to be using a KVM switch that I bought to share one monitor keyboard mouse between the two PCs. And I also need to install a capture card. I went and bought myself a capture card to basically take the signal, the video coming out of this bad boy, and then squirrel it away for use in stream and encoding and stuff before passing it through to the shared monitor for me to like see it when I'm gaming and stuff. That's the plan. I feel like I've forgotten something and I guess I'm gonna find out. <laughs> so I realized while editing this that I kind of skimmed right past the KVM switch. So I wanted to do a real quick rundown in case you've never seen this before. Uh, KVM in this case stands for keyboard video mouse and it's basically a hardware device that allows you to share those three things or, you know, like other USB devices between two computers and then just switch between them with a hardware button. And it's got a little light on it to show you which computer you're currently using. Now you can do this with software solutions these days. You do not need the physical device. I just felt better about it. I like having like a light on my desk and a physical button that I press that's not like a keybind uh, that's independent from my stuff that will switch my stuff back and forth. These are not only for streamers, a lot of people got these last year while working from home. If you have like a laptop that's for work that you want to use with your keyboard and mouse, it's usually for gaming. A KVM switch can let you really easily flip you know, your monitor and then keyboard and mouse back and forth between two computers. And then, you know, you don't have to set up like a whole second desk for your work stuff. Step one of my plan is going to be to install that capture card into my old computer. So this is a PCIe card. In theory, I think I have enough room. I honestly didn't double check. I've added some stuff to that computer over the years. So uh, I may need to <laughs> remove something. We'll figure that out as we go. Um, but yeah, step one is going to be adding the capture card. And then step two, I think I'm going to try to get the KVM switch set up so that when I get this thing out, all I have to do is hopefully plug it into the right things <laughs> and then hope I did it right. Ideally, when cracking into one's computer, you should do it on like a flat, static-free surface and take appropriate precautions so that you do not static discharge fry anything. Um, I don't really have, like my, my entire world is carpet, so I'm going to do it on, um, I have a plastic desk mat that the chair rolls on and I'm just gonna do it on that and then touch metal stuff a lot and hope for the best. All right, capture card is in, KVM switch is set up. It was easier than I thought it would be. I guess in my head I had that this was gonna be somewhat akin to building a PC even though I'm dumb and the whole point is that I didn't have to build this one. NZXT's BLD configurator takes all the guesswork and the heartache out of your next PC. Just choose the game you want to play, your target resolution, set your budget, and it will recommend you a custom PC. You can then fiddle and adjust parts if you want or check out in minutes. The build fee is $99. If you are less of a fiddler, you can select a pre-built and save that build fee. All of these PCs have a two year parts and labor warranty. They are available in the US and Canada. Mine came built perfectly, completely ready to go, and the cables were all managed really nicely too, which makes me feel very fancy. That's a lot of time and stress and like squinchy fingers saved. 
Uh, in theory, all I gotta do now is unbox this thing and then just keep plugging it into stuff until it does the thing I want to do. So the NZXT BLD is for when you want a sweet computer and you don't want to lose your brain cells <laughs> trying to put it together. Like you can build a computer, but you don't have to build a computer. Oh my goodness, look at this. So they got me a mid tower and I really want to put it on my desk because the other one's still on the floor. It's going to stay there. But like I've all, all the all the cool kids have like PCs on their desk. And I when, when I grow up, I want to be cool. So let's see. I also want to keep all these boxes and uh, foam, actually, because I used to be the tear down all the packaging and recycle it kind of person. And I have grown into the I'm going to move at some point and I want to have all this handy for when I move the poor thing kind of person. So I am going to try to keep all the packaging in as good condition as I am capable of. I haven't had a mid tower in forever. It's so reasonably sized. <laughs> this has got a 3080 in it. Just plonk it down. Now all I need to do is not trip the breaker when I turn it on and it should be good. <laughs> So welcome to the following day. I have gotten everything installed. I have fiddled with things. I did end up making one major change to the flow in that I originally I tried to run the graphics out of gaming computer through capture card and then through the KVM switch to get to the monitor. And at some point along that line, it was getting less good, which I suppose can be expected. So what I ended up doing instead is I'm still using the KVM switch, but that button is just for switching the keyboard and the mouse between computers. And then for the monitor, what I did is I actually just ran two cables. Um, each of these computers is separately plugged into this monitor. And then what I can do is I can just manually change the input to change it between different, different computers so that they each get a direct feed. And then for recording, um, the other thing that helped was instead of running the output through the capture card and then into the monitor, I thought, what if I just run a second cable out of, out of the gaming computer so that one of them goes directly to the monitor, another one goes into the capture card, and then the computer's reading that as two displays, but what I have is they're just set to mirror, so it's the same image going to both. But this way, this one, um, doesn't have to visit the capture card before it arrives on my screen. And I have found that that works better. And then having it done this way, as opposed to the KVM switch also makes it so that this monitor doesn't keep getting confused about which way it's facing. So that's been working so far. Seems, seems like that's it. Seems like that's all it takes. I expected this to be a lot more fiddly than this current setup has turned out to be. But for the most part, it's pretty seamless. I can adjust things on the streaming PC without having to tab back into it. I'm using my stream deck because that's always going to be connected to that computer. So I can like mute, unmute myself. I can change scenes um, without needing to tab back into that PC. So it, you know, so far so good. And then in WoW, I can, I can, juice the graphics with this thing. This new, this NZXT PC has a 3080 in it. And let me tell you, you can, you can ray trace shadows. You can ultra detail everything. You can do it at 4K and you can, you can have a good day. It's some good stuff. So that's my double PC setup. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Big thanks to my sponsor NZXT for sponsoring and also for providing the PC. Stay tuned for more videos and have a wonderful, wonderful day.